All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another FFT AI battle. On top, we have uh, Super Divan's uh, updated team with the Samurai and the Monsters. And then on bottom, we have uh, VCOD's team with the Dark Behemoth. So we'll introduce the units for each of them. We got Eve the Samurai, Sparky the Behemoth, Mr. Scruffles the Dark Behemoth, and Adam the Priest. And now for uh, VCOD, we got Speedy Boy the Ninja, Tanky Boy the Lancer, Girly Boy the Geomancer, and Omi Guesty Boy the Dark Behemoth. So, I was just taking a look really quickly with some of the designs of the units. Um, both the Priest, you know, the Priest having Bladegrass defense up, and the Ninja having a lot of evasion with Abandon and a Mantle. They're going to be both very hard for the Behemoths to hit these units respectively. Um, especially this Priest, with the Priest having... Uh, um, Again, with the you know, with the majority of these units being melee, the Dark Behemoth, uh, the Lancer, and the uh, Ninja, the only one that could be that could viably do damage uh, to this priest is the Geomancer right here, and vice versa for this Ninja. Um, only the Samurai could really do damage with draw. It's this Ninja, and even then, she won't even take more than half his life. So these, the really, I think it's going to come down to uh, which Behemoth uh, team is going to use. Um, is going to be able to incorporate monster skill. Is the Dark Behemoth going to be able to use Alma Guest after taking a lot of HP, stay next to the Lancer, or will it be the other two? And uh, hey there, Vanish Mantle. Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Um, and then, yeah, for the Samurai, I think uh, I think uh, there's a better chance for this Samurai to get the monster skills because she's got two monsters, of course. So, uh, yeah, I guess the map we're going to go to is... Let me think. Let's go to the south wall of Bethlehem Garrison, shall we? <clears throat> Guy you could catch in? Well, excellent. Perfect timing, man. I'm just going to do uh, two quick matches tonight. This one and then uh, the one for tomorrow. Uh, the one for tomorrow is going to be uploaded to YouTube. This one we're seeing now is going to be uploaded probably in like 40 minutes. So, yep. Um, so, hey, straight off the bat, pretty interesting. Only on the ninja. Um with him being kind of spread out, it's going to be like a Samurai versus Ninja. Remember that this Samurai does not have a defense up or anything, so she could still get one-shotted. Um, and it looks like that's going to be the case. Uh, the reason why you say that is because the Ninja has attack up. <laughs> 500 damage. Oh my god. But instant raise one to bring it back. Now here's what I was talking about the Geomancer. Fortunately, she does not use um, anything. Yeah, so she took a lot of damage, but that ninja might be able to finish off unless we get a Giga Flare. Nice. Yeah, the ninja's dead. Very unfortunate, yeah. Return fire with that stab up. Oof. Now, it's a little bit more advantageous for uh It's a little bit more advantageous for VCOD because um the Geomancer does have revival, yes, in the form of the revive skill. But that's all she uh she doesn't have like a raise, so the heal is not gonna be as potent. And it's the Lancer. It's the... It's the Lancer who has monster skill. MP switch ate the hit. Nice, nice. Everybody except the Dark Behemoth lost a point of speed. Um, another Giga Flare to finish him off. Excellent. 350 damage under that Behemoth. Oh my god. Mr. Scruffles is going to town. Now it's a 2v1. Um... Yeah, now it's the uh, 4v1. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the Dark Behemoth may be able to kill off this priest. And he does it because of the 40% blade grass. Very nice, very nice. Holy to finish him off, huh? Nice. Oh, that was a devastating ground. Oh man. Yeah, they got into like two groups of two, basically. You know, the Samurai Behemoth. The Behemoth doing the Giga Flares was really what sealed the deal. Um, because again, that ninja has abandoned in a mantle, so he's got a shit ton of evasion, plus his base evasion, and it didn't uh, work out that round. Yeah, indeed, they were uh, bodied, they were destroyed, their bodies were not ready. Uh, let's see here, let's go to Yugo Woods. I don't feel like I've been here some time. Now that these units are actually going to be in groups, like, cl uh, clustered together, it's, uh, it's not going to be as, uh, I would like to think it's not going to be as one-sided this particular round. We'll find out, though. Um, yeah, I just think that uh, the ninja, he should be able to get... Uh, looks like that's going to be a triple panel haste. The slows will be advantageous. The slow dances, I should say. The speed decrease will be advantageous in the long run. And hey there, Mire. Uh, perfect timing. You only missed one round. We're in the second round of this first match. So, yeah. Um, 
Don't mind me, I'm drinking my San Pellegrino Blood Orange. It's fucking fantastic, by the way. Google, Google that shit. It's really good. Ooh. On Amazon, it was like back in August, they had a sale. You could get that or like prickly pear, and I wanted Blood Orange, but they gave me the wrong fucking one anyways. It was like... A tw I don't know, it was like 24 cans for like 15 bucks or something. Because normally a six pack is five dollars, but yeah, oof. It's really good. Mm. No, 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 there's no way that's going to work with all that evasion on the ninja. No way. So a little bit of damage has been casted, but nothing significant at the moment. Uh, the holy will probably kill off the... No, I don't think it'll kill off the ninja. Yeah, he's too quick with haste. Uh, she might die here. Yeah, this is what I feared was going to happen in round one. If that uh, samurai got in the range like that, um, it was basically over. Because, again, he can one-shot her. She doesn't have defense up. So, Dark Behemoth is going to try. And he does succeed, for, unfortunately, for uh, Shiba Divan. Now it's going the other way around. The stop indeed, yeah. Getting that from the Hell IV. And what are we at? We're at 4v1? No, 2v... We're at 2v3, it looks like. Um, I don't think it matters too much, right? Any counters? Yes, but it misses. Yep, yep. MP switch ate the hit. It doesn't really matter. Again, it's uh, it's uh, 4v1. And all my guesty boy is just going to get his revenge in the last round. God damn, we're at a tiebreaker already. Jesus. Okay, let's go there. <laughs> Oof. Um, what do we want to go for a tiebreaker? A little interesting. A reverse slaughter? Yeah, it's vengeance. We're gonna find out who, who we're gonna find out who's the superior team in this prick waving dick fight. Uh let's go to the Hall of Saint Miron Temple. I believe this is where you see Vormov and Rafael and Klitian. You know, you do the three V five and you give them the Germanic scriptures. Yeah. This is that map. Nice, nice. Yeah, for some reason when I'm looking at this map, it definitely feels different compared to when you played on the PSP. Like, it's the exact same map. Maybe it might be the textures or something. It could just be, like, my graphics plug-in and shit. Maybe it's just not this detailed in War of the Lions. It's, it's, it's hard to compare them side by side unless you actually have the footage. But it could be just me. You never know. <clears throat> I kind of like the lion details where those waterfalls are. It's like a, a lion shooting out water. It's kind of cool. And he petrifies? No, 156 damage. Remember, she's got... 16 MA and 10 PA and magic attack up, so she's gonna do a lot of damage. Is she dead here? No. Auto potion does heal up more than necessary. Um, Behemoth, uh, this is kind of looking like it's gonna go to VCOD this time because uh, they're not next to the samurai, and unfortunately, the Giga Flares are not gonna go off because he's dead. Chirisung is kind of irrelevant here, irrelevant here, unless this, be yeah, this Behemoth's gonna die. So we're at 3v3. Um, might be get a double draw out. Yeah, nice, nice. No slows, only moderate damage, but um, when that ninja gets a turn and that samurai should be dead. Nope, unless he gets mid-charged. Ah, damn it. Uh, Blade Grass did not trigger both times, unfortunately. There's a 36% chance for that to occur and it triggered. Uh, right, because it's 0. 0.6 times 0. 0.6. Oof. Um, revenge kill. Revenge fucking. <laughs> yeah, now we're at 4v1 already. Goddamn. In critical, yeah. Yeah, th this is a uh, GG. Um, again, drought doesn't really matter here. That's got to be bad compat. That's why that, yeah, it is bad compat. 84 damage versus 112. But yeah, this is over. All right, well, with that said, uh, congratulations, uh, VCOD. You take this uh, best of three. You got your revenge for getting fucked in the first round. And then uh, Super Divan, unfortunately, uh, just the monster skills, I think, kind of did it. I mean, the first round, the behemoth one-shotting, the the ninja who's got a lot of evasion, I think, uh, allowed you to take that first victory. But, you know, at least you won a round. That's the positive uh, outlook on this. So, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys for the next uh, match on the stream or the next video on YouTube. Remember to like, comment, subscribe on both platforms. Uh, thank you and have a good day or good night or whatever time it is for you. Yep.